Right here in the valley, Ukrainian Americans are anxious as they anticipate what could happen to their country. They have families back home understandably worried as tensions continue to rise at the border. David Caltabiano is on the story live with more on this. David. Uh, good evening to you in the studio. The Ukrainian Americans that I spoke to here told me that they wish they were back in their home country and a part of the resistance, so to speak. But here in the United States, they're still fighting for their country by informing the public about the long-standing history between Russia and Ukraine, as well as leaning on their faith. At St. Mary's Protectress Ukrainian Orthodox Church in Phoenix, there is a saying Church Vice President Yuri Melnik remembers from his homeland. Slava Ukraini! And heroim slava. It means glory for Ukraine and glory for our heroes. It's in the, in the, our heart. What's also in his heart is his wife Olina, who he met in Crimea, the place annexed by Russia in 2014. For us, it was um, part of our history taken, right? <laughs> family history taken. Yes. History repeated is what the Melniks are afraid of, with Russia continuing to build up forces near the Ukraine border with no signs of de-escalation. Church Treasurer Remy Bedinsky blames the Biden administration for the handling of the situation. Terribly weak, and Putin can see that. The perception is, is that we have a terribly weak administration on foreign policies. The administration has threatened with sanctions, but these Ukrainian Americans hope to see a stronger NATO or U.S. presence to support Ukraine. Meanwhile, the parishioners will continue to educate the public through various organizations on the long-standing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, and most of all, pray. We pray every time we go to church, we always pray for Ukraine and for peace. And the Melniks told me that they get updates hourly from the people back in Ukraine to find out what exactly is going on on the ground. And here we'll keep you updated with the latest online at azfamily.com. We'll send it back to you in the studio.